today for those of you that need to need the step-by-step -step on how to do this install. So what I've done is I tore apart my Acura and used the parts out of it and I'm going to show you how to put it onto this reel which is the same reel. These are the same reels. But I went even further and I tore into the Acura because if you guys remember I couldn't remember. I thought I'd had this reel apart before but I just didn't remember exactly because in the pictures I didn't realize it had this style which I like these better. It's just like the Sajid said I'm horrible with names, but the Sagisi Custom one you can get, right? That uh, for the Alphas Air that doesn't have it, the, uh, I'm not sure. I want to say that the, oh, the Steez Air does, but not, or the Steez CT does, but I don't think the Steez Air does actually or something. There's weird how that works, but the other variants like the Gecko Bidgen and the, Silver Creek have it. So anyway, that is that style, which I like that. It, the more I turn to these reels, the more I like these little suckers. These little uh, Dark Wolf Ultra variants are awesome little reels. So while we're in here, I just want you to look real good. I, I guess I've never had... Uh, I tore one of these apart. We switched to side plates and different stuff on the Dark Wolf. I guess I just didn't look at them. But since then, uh, I've had this exact reel. This is the reel that I've had my... Uh, I fished since I've got it. I put it on the six foot nine medium heavy 15 pound braid. Uh, there's a spool right there, the deep spool. Throwing chatter baits and you know just bigger stuff. And I actually accidentally the first time threw it in the water. It was completely submerged. Haven't taken apart to clean it since. Uh, and then dunked it again one time because we, me and Charles, were going down a what was a gravelly, dirty road, but it was raining hard. And in his boat, the mud had splashed up because it's on a trailer. So anyway, the, the outside was just totally uh, caked on some of the rods and reels and the socks and everything. It, it almost bled through a little bit, so I dunked them like a couple times. I talked about that in a video. But I want you to look, like so far, the lighting is not the greatest right at the moment, but I don't see any issues. This is a very smooth reel. Look at the grease, you guys can see the shine. So I'm not actually gonna, I'm not gonna maintenance this reel. I'm going to put this thing right back together. So from the time you've seen me, I don't even remember how many months ago I got this reel and we threw it on, just started using it. I'm slapping it right back together. It will not maintenance this off uh, season. Basically, I'm going to just start fishing it again. We're going to see how long, I guess, before I either hear a gearing noise or something goes out or whatever happens. Because uh, these little reels, I think, will withstand quite a bit of punishment. So anyway... I'm not going to put that together right now. It's simple. You just pop that side plate back on. That bearing needs to go back in. These four screws. And one thing, if you do tear yours apart, the, what's kind of cool about these reels, some of the older alphas and uh, dial reels were this way. They take like four screws, and they're all the same. You don't have to remember which one went where, which is actually kind of a cool factor if you tear your reels apart from time to time. So this video, though, this video is strictly... Nothing my videos are strictly anything. So I'm going to show you uh, how to install one of the aftermarket drag stars. And we're going to see what it looks like on... That is the uh, Kingdom Micro Monster. And you're going to have to excuse the camera. Kind of want to focus, not want to focus. I probably have way too much stuff around. I'm trying to get that. Yeah, I like... That is probably... To date, my favorite uh, adjustment, spool tension knob adjuster. That thing just looks, works good. It's kind of like a cross between a, it's not necessarily pink. Like the spool looks more pink than that does. That just looks like a kind of a very light purpley color. And as you can see, the, it kind of goes with like a, just a, that is a purple drag star. I think it's going to look real good. So let's do it. So I'll show you how they come. They come with, for whatever reason, there's two different ones. If you guys remember right in the blow up from the last video, if you haven't watched that video, you probably might want to watch it also, another live stream. But they only come with two actual washers. And the thicker one, there's two that are different thicknesses. The thicker one comes uh, on first on both of these reels I've taken apart. Uh, 
I believe, and I switch them. So anyway, it comes with two, and it comes with these on there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take all that off, and if you want to know how to put it back on from stock, it, I don't think it really matters which one's the thick one. They're pretty much the exact same except for the thickness, and that shouldn't make an effect if they both go on together. But how I, what I do to find the spacing is I'm going to use that thicker one. So this is the part that's on first. You, you take it off, and you're not going to use that. You're going to use all the other stuff. So um, I haven't shared the links yet. I'm going to put them on probably this video and the other previous one as soon as I get done with this video. But you're going to go to AliExpress, and you're going to track down whatever star you want and it has to have the cutout style for uh the diawa with the spring-loaded deal this one uh, the gomexis and i think that's about it they there's this is called this is sold from like kawa ruku Ru, i mean a, a few different ruk i think uh different places have these on the name i'm not sure the exact actual manufacturer of that star I'll share the link to the one where I got mine, like where I think they're, they're $15 or $16.99. They come with the little uh, spool tension adjuster that you're not going to use. It won't fit on here, and you don't want it anyway. That one's better than what it comes with. So then you track down the spring. You track down that. That's the most expensive thing, 10 bucks. These you can only get like in twos or fours, but they average at just a couple dollars a piece if you buy the four of them. So I recommend like buy four of these and buy a set of this and this, and you, you have enough to do four reels like these reels or... Other reels that don't come with the, uh, like the Xeon Star that's adjustable, you know, spring-loaded. Okay, so you've, you've pulled that stuff off, and there's a new part you have. So the first thing you're going to go back on with is that thin washer. Now, most uh, Daiwas have an actual, this part here is also thinner, so there's no way that the outer race can get uh, touched. That's kind of what these first... Uh, washer is for it's to go on there and it touches the inner race but it won't reach the outer race and it actually that that is a big enough uh oh shoot bearing that that does the job so that goes on first then you're going to take your new one of these and you're going to put that on and i'll share the link the not all these are created equal just because you see it and it looks like that it has to be 19 millimeters long from basically the bottom end to the top it's it's really about how far it sticks out far enough to catch on the teeth on this so I'll share the link uh, it's kind of confusing but if you look on there and you find some and it shows the measurements and it's 19 millimeters it'll work so you put it on then you put these on and this is the trick uh, that a lot of people goof up on and the lingles actually has to go that way because there's not enough tolerance uh, room so these are like a Hobie One Kenobi calls them shaped like Pringles, right? Like potato chips. So you, that's the way I put them. Now, technically, I've seen guys talk about how that they like them better like this. As long as they're opposite, that part really doesn't matter. They just need to not be on the same way. So we're going to put them the way I always put them, which is like that. And they're going to go inside... On the, th on the shaft and they should be setting inside your clicker. If you put the clicker on the other way, it'll rub like crap and you'll realize real quick that you goofed up. Then you're using this thicker one for a couple reasons. It, it needs to uh, be on the outside of here in order when we put this on like we're going to do now to not let this go down in far enough and start catching on that kind of stuff. So then you're going to screw that on all the way down. You'll start to want to get it a little tight. Did I go too tight? So just however tight, just to get it on, you don't adjust the drag yet. Then you're going to put the spring on. Then you put this on. Now there's a trick here. You don't want to just mush it on because you can uh, technically, I mean, I, I haven't done it yet, but I see where you could destroy this piece if you just try to jam it on there because it needs to kind of set in. 
and it should start clicking. So then you're going to hold that down because it's spring loaded now. You're going to hold that down, take this piece, it should be on there, put it back on, then your handle, and then the nut, which this one's chewed up. Uh, this isn't the one that came with this reel, it's just one I had that's kind of a dark gunmetal color. And it has been chewed up over, I don't know when. I, I think it came on another reel I got at some point. But it works. It gets the job done. So then, all you have left to do is tighten that to where you get that adjusted. But for this purpose, because I'm actually going to take this right back apart and put these parts back in my Acura and put this back to stock for now. But I wanted to show you guys, and for me, I wanted to see what this looked like. I just chewed my fingernail up pushing that. So, it was that simple. And once you've done these uh, once or twice, like if you get a, if you have a few of these, you know, the Dark Wolf Ultra, the Black Knight 2, the Acura, the Micro Monster, or other reels that you plan on doing that with, once you've done one or two, it, it's a pretty simple swap out, even though you need to order other parts. If you have the actual Zillion or, you know, the reels. Now this one, the tolerance is, it's so tight, there's really not much, uh, not much movement anyway. That's why I've talked about, and I have it on one, uh, the reel that's not with me today. I actually just cut down a plastic one because there's not really as much space as what the Daiwa reels have. So once you get it adjusted, it doesn't really move anyway. The trick is if is why you might want to get some different washers. What'll happen is if you say you didn't put enough here, you'll literally be able to get your drag down tight enough to where it, it may rub on that. See that that is probably too tight for like a 10 pound test or so. And then if you've gone the other way, you can only loosen drag up so far. Now see that's real loose. There is still some pressure there. But that's like crazy loose. So it works on these just with uh, just those few parts. You don't need to mess with uh, spacing it any differently than you have right there. So it was that simple, that quick, that easy. And I guess uh, since you guys enjoyed this video, because I know you did, and we're not even 15 minutes in. I will just go ahead and I guess I'll just show you how simple it is to put this back together. Like I said though, I'm not going to put this, uh, I'm not going to actually service the reel. I just took it apart to make sure and verify that that is the drag clicker just like what Daiwa and Shimano have. So it's got a little uh, thimble thing they call in there with the spring, spring loaded. If you guys can see it clicking. And that's what makes your clicking noise. Uh, the lingles for sure and most of the aftermarket ones you'll get have those little paw like a uh, you know, chunks of metal sticking out sprung down and they catch on the gear teeth and they make the noise that way. So, I'll probably make a little short video kind of talking about the differences between when I finally get around to it. I, I'm going to get my, uh, be looking forward to that little short video. We're going to compare the sounds on my Zillion reels, like bone stock, then with the aluminum star and the lightweight like chameleon spool because I think they get louder the, as the, the spools and the stars changes even if you have the same body of a reel. So anyway, let me show you. This is a matter of just lining up. I'll stick the bearing back on. And these reels do also come, I think all of them. I think the, uh, I don't think that, I don't think the Black Knight 2 and the Dark Wolf Ultra do, but Hello? What? You just got home. That girl just got back from Colorado. Started out at 5 this morning. They drove. Just got back. She's already leaving. Kids, right? So anyway, be careful. This goes back on, and this is going to probably pop out. And I don't know why it does. It just does on these reels. Like, it's got a real tight tolerance, unless you hold it just right. So... Oh my goodness, why did you give me a fit? Anyway, line that up, then that should, don't force it down if it, if it gives you any issue. But it should just slide down and the, the bearing should be pretty much flush, right? It was that simple. 
and then you just put your screws back in and like I mentioned all four are the same but anytime you're messing with these screws be careful on if you use too big a screwdriver you have to be very careful on the sides you don't want to like let the Phillips head get down in there and dig on your paint but you just put you know, they don't have to be any tighter than that the screwdriver is actually a touch too small but just you know snug they don't have to be super tight you're running into plastic which tends to like it just hold it's not real good at holding a bunch of force but there's no force on these bolts but as far as like working itself back out I you almost have to Loctite when you're metal to metal you almost want to use like Loctite and when you're just dealing with plastic on these now if I had a rattling RC car that created a lot of you know vibration I may want to put just a touch of super glue but you do not super glue these just snug them don't strip them and that's why I kind of like using a small screwdriver anyway that way it's it's harder to strip some that it's almost like you use this uh, lower slower gear ratio reel right to slow down kind of same thing here you just snug it it may slip once I'm not really putting a ton of pressure it's not like I'm stripping it it's just popping out of the hole because the screw driver's so small now when these are uh, and if you have one that's a little bit troublesome there's nothing wrong with getting especially on this one because it doesn't matter a very good screwdriver I don't know why that one's been so tough anyway if anything feels bound up don't keep putting it back together take it apart and uh, you got something goofed up so anyway it's that simple do you guys need any more let's see how fast I can put it back on the other one you guys want to see that? No. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat the process. I, you guys don't need to see that. I'll end this. Call it a short video. So we tore into the drag clicker. Uh, this reel should have the exact same thing. I have not torn. I don't think I've torn these apart at all. These are still fairly new. They don't have a ton of use. This reel has, this is the, over even my other probably as far as more abuse and use over even my older Dark Wolf Ultra I had and the, the Black Knight 2 that's down at the lake that's locked up it's gotten about as much use as this just not as with heavy as bait but this thing's been through quite a bit already this one's still fairly new the Dark Wolf Ultra and then I got two brand new ones I haven't even got out and used yet and this one's been through a little bit too so you can kind of say that I've kind of I have several of these now I've got Two of these, three of these, uh, yeah, so three, yeah, I got, well, geez, I, I have that many of this variant, these variants, I do, I have, uh, two of these reels, three of these, three Dark Wolf Ultras, uh, the Black Knight 2, so yeah, I've got a bunch. Alright guys, hopefully you found that informational. If uh, you didn't get it, just rewind, pause, whatever you need to do. And that should uh, help you out if you run into any issue, issues trying to put a dragster on or you pull the handle assembly off for whatever reason or any issues. So get out, go bath and bonsai, but whatever you do, make sure you have fun doing it. Stay tuned for a couple of different short videos on different things over the next uh, few days. And I'll probably put together a video... No, I haven't decided yet. I haven't even decided if I want to do that. But I thought about tearing apart this reel and the uh, Gekka Bidgen just to see what the internals are like. I'm thinking they should be the same overall. You're going to have the the two gears are different. But I think everything on this side, the drag clicker and all that should be the same, I would think. As far as what the shape, how they function. And I don't think I really want to do that. Alright guys, see you later.